Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, let's show you this gorgeous pen. This is a Parker Lucky Curve True Blue, as it's commonly known in the collecting um, circles. Um, the True Blue was, it basically came out around about 1928 through to 1929, so a very short production period, um, and it's when Parker sort of began to experiment with these different colours and different patterns. The material of this is a permanite and as you can see it comes, it's better to show you the cap, um, it comes in this sort of blue and sort of white swirl patterns. Now as you can clearly see um, on this model the, the barrel has slightly discoloured. Now, it's very rare to find one in vibrant and, well, still in the blue and white vibrant colours because they all, they all had a tendency to discolour as this one has. But in my opinion, this one is still a nice example. Now, the, the lucky, um, sorry, the true blue pens came in different variants. As I say, they only had about a year a year of production but this one I believe is what they term as the flat top as you can see by the cap there um, although saying that later on they brought out a streamlined version now although this is the flat top as you can see to the top there um, the blind cap has I believe a streamlined blind cap on it it should have had an early the earlier version had these little knurls to the end of it so again I don't find it unusual because I'm sure Parker used whatever parts they had at the time now these this particular one was made in Canada as we'll show you in a moment and well the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel 135 millimeters capped around the uh, diameter around about 10.5 to 11 millimeters in diameter as you can clearly see it's got two gold cap bands there okay and if we show you the very recognizable Parker ball clip there okay with the word Parker down down the clip and as we've just shown you to the top there we've got this well yeah this flat top and it's got knurling to the top there as well. You can see the colouring there slightly better. And as I say, slightly discoloured to the barrel. Although, as I said before, in my opinion, still quite acceptable. Let's show you the barrel imprint. Now, on this particular one, it's actually a little bit warm. But you can actually see to the left, it's got GOS Parker uh, Toronto. And then to the middle there, the Lucky Curve banner is slightly warm. To the right, it has Fountain Pen and then the word Canada underneath it. So a little bit warm, but parts of it still quite legible. But again, quite acceptable for a pen from the 1920s. As we showed you earlier, it's a button filler fountain pen there with this blind cap. As I say, the slight sort of, I'm not sure, the blind cap looks to be a streamlined version, which is the later model, although the flat top, I believe, is the earlier model. Okay, let's give you some customary twirls. These are quite a slim, they're a long, long pen and quite slim. Okay, so let's have a look at the the nib, the section there. You can see the section's got this slight ridge towards the nib. And let's show you the nib. Let's keep it nice and still for you. And it reads Parker Lucky Curve Pen Canada. And then just to the bottom there, it has the number three. Let's show you a sideways view there. And let's take you underneath and show you the feed. And you can see there, because it's a lucky curve pen, we've actually got the lucky curve 
sort of Christmas tree feed underneath but all in all a lovely pen as I say quite slim but still a lovely comfortable pen to hold now I fully serviced it we've put a new sack in it and everything so what we'll do let's let's take the blind cap off let's bring on some ink and we'll just give it one press okay you could hear that sort of burbling noise underneath let's give the the nib a bit of a wipe it's only for a writing sample so we'd just the one press will be be adequate let's bring on our paper and let's see how it writes so what we have is a Parker Lucky Curve Fountain Pen and again as we said earlier sorry let's do that 1928 through to 29 so the production of this pen was only a year and that's why they're very sought after and again very sought after if you find one with the vivid colours as well it's writing very nicely indeed does it have well let's just tell you where it's made from made from in so made in Canada to be specific Toronto does it have any flex well looking at that I'd say it does so let's do some figure of eights very nice very nice indeed so let's pop the cap on so a lovely writer as I say it's been fully serviced new sack and everything and look at that so we've got a nice bit of variation in line it's got some flexibility in the nib but a lovely lovely writer as you'd expect so what we'll do we'll flush the pen out after the video and let's try and find a lovely home for this pen somebody will enjoy it for many years to come they are very sought after pens as well okay and again as I said earlier in my personal opinion I believe this is still a lovely example as I said I've actually seen them where the barrel is literally black and in this case we've still got some of the the blues and the white swirls quite visible so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't be shy as always come on leave a comment don't be shy and have you subscribed if not why not subscribe now and don't forget people wherever you are around the world please stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now